Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Zephyr for Jira tutorial, we are going to learn how you can execute the test cases that we have added previously into the test cycle. So test execution in Zephyr is possible in many different ways. We'll cover all those ways. So if I go to the quick start guide of the Zephyr, you will see that this is what we have been referring to. Uh, to. So simple test process, test process with basic execution planning, uh, with structured execution planning and structured test process, right? So when you are trying to execute a test case, you can follow simple test process. If there is a test case which uh, you want to quickly execute, but that's not necessar necessarily a part of any test cycle, then what you can do, do is you can execute it in the ad hoc cycle. Okay, so that's possible there. Uh, if you want to execute one or two test cases in ad hoc mode then uh, the more structured approach is basically to have the test cycle add the test cases into test cycle and then execute those so that you can keep track of a particular cycle how many test cases were there how many got you know passed failed and what is the overall you know um, confidence of the quality of that particular release or version okay so that's the whole point of following the structured test process and the test cycles that we have been understanding into the previous tutorial so in this tutorial what i'll cover is i'll cover how you can execute in zephyr so uh, the test cases into zephyr so let's go back and if i go to the particular test case we have briefly understood about the test execution anyways in the previous tutorial so this will be a quick one so here uh, to execute, so for example, this is the test case that I want to quickly execute randomly. You can directly go to the uh, test case uh, either from the search or from the details, right? So I, I'll uh, go to the, to the right ellipses in the search window here. And here from here, I can just directly go to the bottom and you will see the execute option here. So I can simply click on execute and it will open the execute test window uh, and I can select the execute ad hoc cycle or I can add this particular test case to any particular test cycle and then execute okay so let me show you how to execute in the ad hoc mode first uh, so I'll say ad hoc and then in the ad hoc mode I'll simply I can just say execute if I want to assign it to you know myself I can do that um, say for example I can search the users or i can assign to someone else in my team so at the moment i'll assign it to myself and click on execute so once i'll click on execute it will open the execution window so now in this window you will see this is the execution window we are in the detail view in the right hand side if you want to see the list view you can click on the list view and it will give you the uh, list view or the test cases that are in the ad hoc cycle but are not being executed right so whatever status is there okay so now in order to execute this particular test case what you need to do is you need to simply uh, you know either directly you can just uh, overall change the pass fail or work in progress or block so these are the execution statuses that are available if you want to mark this test case as pass simply select the pass from the drop down and that will mark the overall steps in this particular test case as pass okay but if you want to go step by step and start executing the steps right so what you can do is you can simply scroll down and here you can perform this step and based on the steps say for example this passed you can mark this as passed right if you don't want to go through the test case step by step and you want to directly mark the test execution overall execution as pass and fail you can select it from here in the execution status okay now when you are going step by step this is the uh, you know actual approach when you are working in a test team and trying to execute the test cases you will be going through the test case step by step and then following the tasks or the actual steps on the software or the application that you are testing and then you will be marking the steps as pass or fail now say for example the second step got failed okay so i'll fail this and then here you can put your comments why this particular test case failed so you can provide the details in the comment section and then if you want to attach say for example you want to attach the screenshot you can directly from here 
click on this attached uh, link right or the plus sign and you can attach the uh, attachments or the screenshot so this window will get open you can add files directly you know copy and paste to this particular window and the attachment will get attached to it to that particular step all right then if you want to have you know raise the defect directly for at this particular step you can se select the drop down here and you can click on create defect okay so if you click on create defect it will open the create issue window in jira and from the issue type you can select the issue type as bug and provide the summary description etc to create the bug in jira all right so that will create the defect against this particular step and the defect will get linked here uh, and this number will be shown as you know whatever number of defects that you raise against this particular step right so there will be you know for example one defect is raised you will get one defect here okay so this is how you can execute step by step and add the comment for the person or the developer to have a look uh, have the attachments and raise the defect from the test execution in zephyr all right so that's how you will add the defect from the step level if you want to generic you know put a generic comment you, uh, for the overall test execution you can put the comment here um, you can also create defect here right you can create a new issue click on create new issue and add the defect or you you can select the existing defect search the existing defect and link those defect to this particular test case in this execution right so this is how you will execute the test case um, in general if you want to attach the attachments directly to the test case and not to the steps this is the section where you can click on plus sign and add the attachment it opens the same window right so this is how you will execute a particular test case in ad hoc mode okay so now if i go to the zephyr instance again uh, or zephyr section again and go to the search test case so this was the execution through the right hand side in the search result and i can go to execute and execute the test case now from the issue detail or the test case detail page as well you can execute the test case right so from the test detail page here what i can do is i can go to the right hand side in the ellipses uh, three ellipses and i can click on execute and it will open the same execution window i can execute in the ad hoc mode or i can add to the existing cycle and execute okay now there are a couple of test cases that we have added into the existing cycle now let's go to the uh, to those test cases and i'll execute the existing test cases that are there into the test cycle so i'll go to the cycle summary so now here say for example i am in this cycle so clone v1.0 regression and i want to execute the test cases that are part of this ui right so i can go to this particular folder directly i'll see all the test cases if i want to directly pass fail these test cases i can simply select from drop down here and if i want to execute these test cases step by step all the steps in this particular test case there is a e uh, icon here so i can click on execute and it will open the execution window so it opened the exactly same execution window that we have uh, you know uh, opened or when we execute the, the te test case into ad hoc mode that's the same window and you have to follow the same process to execute this particular test case mark it as pass and fail uh, if there are any comments for a step you add them here attachments and defects right so if you want to have the view as the list view you will see go to the list view and you will see the test cases that are there in this particular folder here at the top you'll see the the you know folder or the cycle the folder and the test cases within that particular uh, execution right so this is how you will basically search the test cases and then execute the test case within jira now this is the execution part now say for example you are working as part of the test team 
So the best way to basically figure out what all test cases or the issues are assigned to you and then execute from there is to say, for example, I'll go to the Zephyr interface again. And here, if I uh, search for the test execution, so in the search test executions, I can open or filter out the test cases that are being assigned to me. So once you log into Jira and you want to um, you know, find the executions that are assigned to you. So here from the assignee, uh, here you can filter out or say, for example, here, if I, you know, sort it out, I can sort based on the assignee. Uh, if I want to filter the test cases that are assigned to me, I'll simply go to this drop down here and I'll check what all test cases are being assigned to me for execution and what are the test cycle in which I have to execute those. Then from here as well, I can directly click on this E icon, execute the test case and finish my tasks or the work that I, that has been assigned to me uh, in terms of test execution. All right. So this is uh, so these are some of the ways to basically execute the test cases in Jira. You can do ad hoc test execution. You can go to the test cycle see the test cases that are being associated with the test cycle and execute those which is more of a you know structured approach of uh, the overall test cycle or test management within jira and then you can search the test execution filter the test cases that are assigned to you and execute those test cases within jira so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful and it clears some of the concepts of executing the test cases within jira Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.